I've been tinkering around with these Raspberry Pi music streamers for a long time now. Too long, really. But I wanted to get, you know, the formula just right so I can give you guys the golden blueprint for a music streamer that you will be able to use for the foreseeable future, you know, and get the most out of it. I wanted it to look good, sound good, and feel suitable to integrate into your signal chain. So, I started over a year ago with what I called the Pi-Fi. It was a Raspberry Pi paired with a top hat DAC from Hi-Fi Berry, one of just a few companies out in the ether that sells Hi-Fi components for the Raspberry Pi. It worked well and sounded okay. I used Rupee as my operating system, allowing this device to become a Rune endpoint, which was very important to me. Rupee worked quite well, and I would consider using it again in future projects. I liked the way it looked, with the white metal enclosure and all that. However, I knew deep down inside that I, I could do better. I could do better. So I decided to build a second version, where I attached Hi-Fi Berry's Digi2 Pro to a Raspberry Pi 4. This time I used Volumio as my operating system, which can stream Spotify title on Quobuzz, you know, the three heavy hitters in the business. It also has many opportunities for third-party apps and cool features that can be added to it at a later time. Hi-Fi Berry has a very cool looking black metal enclosure that fits this unit. It was a bit of an uphill battle because I wouldn't say I like cheap plastic standoffs, which they included with the enclosure. It sounded fine, you know, however I knew the disaster inside the enclosure would drive me nuts because I have a problem unseeing things. So once it happens, it happens. Those plastic standoffs breaking on me was unacceptable in my eyes. So I said the hell with it. Let's give it one last go at it. This time around, I took to Reddit. I watched some of my colleagues' videos on the subject particularly Mr. John Darko, who has extensive experience building these little guys. So I decided on Allo. It's a company that has over 20 years of manufacturing PCB designs. They have rave reviews across the board. And the Digi One was praised by many that it was much better than the Hi-Fi Berry's offerings. So I decided to buy the Digi One along with the clear case that they offer on their website. I already had an extra Raspberry Pi since I dismantled my other Pi 5, so I was, I was good on that. After shipping and taxes and all that, came out to about 152 bucks for the Digi One and the case. The Raspberry Pi 4 is around $100 on Amazon, and I'm using iFi's iPower 2 5 volt power supply, which is 69 bucks. So all in, it was about 320 which is less expensive than the Blue Sound Note 2i, which I'll also be comparing the sound quality to later in the video. I will be providing links to everything I have mentioned and other videos I have done explaining how to install like Volumio on your micro SD card to make it all work. So for those that are interested, just check out the description below. As I demonstrated at the beginning of the video, the case from Allo was incredibly easy to assemble. <clears throat> and you know, it took all of what, five minutes maybe to have the final PiFi up and running. I took to Allo's YouTube channel since they have proper instruction on putting together the case. The hardware included was of excellent quality with no plastic standoffs. I was very, very happy. So side note, while doing this, I was also simultaneously putting together the Pi Fi Mark II into a, che a cheese, a Chinese plastic case I found on Amazon. I think these open format cases are great for dissipating heat and they also look cool. So sorry guys, I ditched the metal cases. Let's start with the Blue Sam Node 2i. This is an incredible device with a lot of features. It can easily be used as a preamp. It has an EQ option and a sub out. I did a full review of the Blue Sound and you can find it right here or in the description below. I'm a massive fan of this device and it has lived in my signal chain for a long time. So I'm, I'm pretty used to it. I feel it is reasonably priced considering everything you get with the unit. However, how did it sound compared to the new Pi Fi though? Well, I think the Blue Sound had a much more balanced sound overall. I felt the Allo Digi One was a bit brighter than the Blue Sound. However, both performed very well and kept up with one another. So this was kind of tough to discern between the two, you know, to give you a definitive answer. They both sound great. 
However, I felt the blue sound did sound a bit better. Feature-wise, the Blue OS app and the Blue Sound are far superior to this project. However, we are just judging them on sound quality. The Pi Fi can not only keep up with the Blue Sound, but it can also demonstrate having its own particular sound signature. For those that like to brighten things up, this is a brighter version. This is a brighter device, you know? So next in line, Hi-Fi Berry's Digi2 Pro. A competent board that marries well with the Raspberry Pi. And to be honest, I dig this little Chi-Fi case with the Raspberry Pi logo cut out. That's what sold me on this case. I'm easily amused, I suppose. Sorry. So, so how did this compare to the Allo? Uh, from just the first few songs I listened to, I felt there was a huge jump in sound quality. There was a lot more impact with the bass, all around more detail, more depth, and phenomenal clarity. Overall, the Allo provided me with a much more enjoyable experience. I suppose the biggest takeaway here is that minor details matter. Where you source your small electronics for the boards or how you build them to perform matters. And small electronics like these, jitter will always be a clear and present danger. So making sure a product has the lowest possible jitter will directly affect your listening experience. I want to thank you all who have been on this quest with me since I began way back when in a little bedroom, uh, but I feel that we have found the secret sauce to the Raspberry Pi music streamer at this moment in time by integrating the Allo Digi1 onto it and using it with your favorite DAC. Speaking of DACs, the following video will dive into the Denifrips Ares 2 and how it's changed a lot within my system. It's made a big difference. So, real quick, folks, I have an online shop where you can purchase hi fi related t shirts that help the channel and allows me to grow. And it will be something unique you can't find anywhere else. It's not like you can go into Macy's and find hi fi shirts. So, I urge you to check out that. Uh, it's going to be in the description below, along with my Facebook group, Hi Fi Audio Addiction. It's been growing lately, and I'm happy about that. And I would love for you to create a fun and helpful forum in there as well. So thank you again for your time and for watching. Until the end, I'll see you soon, my friends. Take care.